Hello guys, it's Zockley here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can change the picture in the loading screen of Space Engineers. So as you can see here, this isn't the vanilla uh, loading screen. This is a screenshot that I took uh, a couple of months back uh, of two of my carriers. Um, yeah, so it's a very you know, kind of cinematic shot going on. And yeah, it's, it's a nice change um, to see, especially you know if you're loading big worlds. So I mean, this might seem quite a small kind of customization, but it's quite nice for well, everyone. You know, people quite like change sometimes. And but also, if you're on uh, either slower end computers or you're loading a big, big world, you could be looking at the screen for like 20 minutes, and you know. <laughs> After a while, uh, pictures can get boring. So it's quite nice to be able to, you know, change it and, yeah, stare at something else for you know, 10, 15 minutes. So um, let's take a look at how you can do this. Okay, guys. So here we are on the desktop, and I've chosen the screenshot that I want to have as my loading screen. And you could, you know, choose yours, and it can be from anywhere and any kind of common format. The only thing I would say that is if you're on a wider screen to avoid uh, smaller aspect ratios as it could cause your um, you know your image to look stretched and deformed so yeah if you can just use screenshots that you've taken yourself on your you know your screen size because that's probably going to work out best so this shot here is the winner of my screenshot competition and it's a nice really nice shot by Evan Baxter 52 and we're going to be using this to make the loading screen in this video. I mean, this shot's actually slightly lower than my resolution, uh, but it won't really matter because of the semi-transparent overlay on the loading screen, which kind of lets you get away with having uh, a slightly lower resolution shot. So let's go make this a loading screen. So now we're at the stage where if you have Photoshop, then this is an issue and you can just carry on but if you don't have Photoshop and you're not planning on getting it then skip ahead the time below uh, for a free alternative because basically we need to export the image as a .dds and uh, th there might be other photo editing software which has this uh, option but if not or you're not sure then uh, skip ahead so now we're gonna look at it done in Photoshop so here we are, we have the image we want loaded up in Photoshop and now we're just going to go up to image and down to image size and then in the width we're going to type in 2048 and the same for the height um, yeah, that's all good, 2048 now I believe it's just the aspect ratio is important here, but I think it's probably best to use the same pix the same resolution as the vanilla image to be on the safe side. So now we're just gonna zoom out and you can see that the image looks a bit squashed currently, but that isn't gonna be an issue. You know, now if you want to make any adjustments to the image in terms of colour or um yeah, tint and stuff. You can you know you can edit as much as you want here. Maybe add a blur and also play around with the brightness and contrast because you might have to come back and uh, do it depending on how it looks in game. Uh, so yeah, let's go to exporting it. So we're going to go to the file and then we're going to go now to save as. And then here we're going to go on the drop down and we're going to go down to DDS D3D DDS and that is the one we want. Uh, all good, so we're just going to save that. And now this opens, and this is the uh, the DDS plugin for uh, Photoshop. And you're going to have to go to the NVIDIA website to get this. And all you need to do is go to Google and type in Photoshop DDS plugin. And the first link is the NVIDIA Texture Tools for Adobe Photoshop, and uh, that is what you want. So you can just load that up and download it, and it's installed. It's pretty straightforward. There it is. So then when you have that installed, you'll be able to export as a DDS and you want to select the top, the first option, just the DXT1. Uh, leave it as that and you want to generate mitmaps. Uh, yeah, leave it at that. And that's it. That, that's all you don't touch any of the things there. And you just press save. And 
then it sometimes it takes a while to appear in your desk while we've saved it. Wait a second, try again. And there it is. So you've got the old one, and then we've got this one here. Which, if we click on it, see it's the same image, and uh, it's now in DDS, and that's ready to go. Cool. So now, if you've just used that Photoshop method to get the image, uh, you're going to want to skip ahead to the time below for the next stage, uh, because now I'm going to show you how to get to the same uh, result, the, the, you know, the image of the DDS, with the alternative uh, free program. So this is paint.net, and it's a really, really good alternative uh, to Photoshop. So all you have to do is go to Google and just type in uh, paint.net and it's the top of the first link and you just go on there and you download it. And it's really good because it's it's kind of better than paint but not quite as advanced as Photoshop and it's got a lot of useful things including uh, a DDS exporter built in so that's what we want. So now we're going to go and change the resolution to the same as the uh, vanilla background and also the aspect ratio to the same as the vanilla background. So we're going to type in 2048 by 2048. I'll just press OK. And it looks quite squashed, but that will sort itself out later. Uh, and then we're going to go to Save As. And you're going to go down to the direct draw surfaces, the DDS, and just click save. And now this opens, and it's quite easy. We want the DXT1, and just the top, the top option. Leave it as that. And I don't think these do too much, but just leave it on the the best highest quality, and just leave that. And you want to make sure that generate mit maps is uh, selected, because it may not be by default. So make sure that's selected. And then you can just leave the last option and then press OK. And check, and there it is. A DDS version of our uh, chosen screenshot, ready to be placed in the correct folder. So now we're back on the desktop and we've got two images, and we've got the old one, which we can just move away. And we've got the new DDS one, which is the one we want. So now we're going to go to your file browser and basically looking for your uh, installation of your Space Engineer. So probably program files and down to Steam, Steam apps, common, Space Engineers, content, uh, textures, GUI, and finally, screens. And there we are, and we can see the um, all the stuff that makes up bits of the game. And you've got the background there. There it is. So we're basically going to replace this. So we can just move this to the side. We're trying to and bring in that image. The uh, customized DDS and. Just for backup sake, we're going to rename this. I'm actually going to control C and copy that before I delete it. I change it and then I'm just going to add old. So it's a backup, but it won't be registered. So now I'm just going to paste the same name where you can just type in the same name as the old one. And that's it. So the, the old one's there for backup if you want to revert back to the old one. And the new one is ready to go. So, let's go take a look in game. So now it's the moment of truth to see if it worked. We're going to go on to uh, just New World. I'm just going to make a mm, Easy Start 2 and Extreme. Just make it really big so it takes a <laughs> longer to load. Uh, that looks pretty big to me and we'll just press OK. Oh, and there we go. Beautiful. Fantastic. There we have it, our custom loading screen. In fact, um, that's, that screenshot worked very well, actually. Um, it looks really, really good, the angle and everything. So there there you have it, guys. That is it's really easy, and once you've done it once, you can do it in like 
a minute. I mean, I've now got about six or seven screenshots, which I can just alter the name and just switch between them, basically, whenever I fancy a change. So, and here's some other ones. Now, unfortunately, this is just separate video clips merged together. Uh, it's not a slideshow, sadly, but that just might be something that I'd quite like to see in the future. You know, they maybe have a, like a folder that we can drop uh, screenshots into and they'll play as a slideshow in the loading screen. It's quite cool. But uh, you get a feel for it and you can see that some screenshots look really, really nice. <laughs> and that's a very fitting caption for that picture. So that's all there is to it. As you can see, very easily and very quickly, we were able to make a custom background for the loading screen, and it's uh, really nice. And I hope you guys agree, and that some of you make your own custom backgrounds. So yeah, let me know, and I will also be putting a link in the description to where you can download the some of the backgrounds you saw in the video, and you can just simply drag them into the folder and take the letter off the end of the name, and they're ready to go. So that's everything for today guys, I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to share and subscribe and also if you run into any issues with the whole custom background then leave me a comment in the comment section and I should be able to help you out with any issues you have. So I'll see you next time guys.